Well, it's another absolutely beautiful day on the farm and you'll recognize this exact spot if you've watched any videos from my Birds of a Feather series or Pigeon Paradise series. But today I'm going to be hunting a farmyard pest that most of you have probably never heard of. Now I'm sure you're all familiar with the European starling, which was introduced to many different countries during colonial times and has become a real pest pretty much everywhere. But in this video we're going to be targeting the pied starling. It's quite a fair bit larger than the European starling and its local name is the Witgatspru, which directly translates to white hole starling. <laughs> and yes, you know what hole that's referring to. That's why Afrikaans is my favourite language, it's very descriptive. As you can see here, this farm is completely infested with these things. And not only do they eat the bull feed like the pigeons do, but they also carry various diseases and display the same aggressive behaviour that the European starlings do. And that drives out all the local songbirds. Needless to say, they have to go, but they pose a much bigger challenge than the pigeons because they are really smart. They don't let you get anywhere near them. But that's alright with me, I know this air rifle of mine can put them down from a long way off. As they begin to land in the tree on the other side of the farmyard, I get my anemometer and rangefinder out, take my readings and prepare for the long shots. That's quite a long shot, that's, that's 100 meters on the dot. So. Four comma seven five. What is that? Twenty one minutes of angle. And I'm gonna hold one mil dot, no, one and a half mil dots for the wind. Yeah, got him. Another bird lands in the same tree shortly afterwards, so I use the same calculations, and it's just a matter of getting on target and squeezing the trigger. Now this is only a 177 calibre, but at 100 meters this pellet still has about 8 foot pounds of energy. That is plenty of energy if you get good placement. You can hear a pretty solid thud as the pellet hits its mark, and he really did not know what hit him. This seemed to be the tree that these starlings like to land in and I could have taken a lot more shots but this was all filmed during my pigeon paradise trip and at this stage my priority was the pigeons so I often abandoned good opportunities on the starlings to sort out the pigeons. During downtime I also saw some other interesting animals. This right here is a secretary bird. These birds walk about in the grass looking for small mammals like hares, mongoose and meerkats as well as snakes like puff adders and cobras and they basically just stomp them to death with those long legs before tearing them up and eating them. But anyway, back to the starlings. This is by far my closest shot. This must have been about 20 or 25 meters and he takes a solid hit. I can't even remember where I hit this bird but it must have been a good hot shot judging by the way he drops. And here's the last shot, coming in at 95 meters or just over 100 yards. The bird is somewhat obscured, but this pepper tree has really fine leaves, so I'm fairly confident that the pellet won't be thrown off its course. I was actually aiming for the upper chest, but this shot gets a bit high and I get a solid headshot. And that's all for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back at this beautiful farm soon with the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter Extra in 22 calibre. That is an exciting prospect. I cannot wait to see what that gun can do. Subscribe to Air Arms Hunting South Africa to stay up to date.